So we are going to show how to fix a Samsung washing machine, a Samsung Echo Bubble that has the problem of um, stopping in the middle of the program where you can still see the the drum is trying to move but for some reason or another it does not start to turn anymore and the program just stops after a few tries uh, apparently this is a very common problem with this washing machine uh, there's posts all over the internet about this thing and it should be related to a faulty motherboard or a faulty processing programming uh, unit and we're gonna try to fix it together with you so to get to that motherboard first the first thing you do is and we already did some of the work so that's why this is gonna be go very fast uh, we did not start filming yet of, um, until after removing some of the parts yet but there's two screws one here can you see on the video one here the other one here that you just remove and that will allow you to remove the top of the washing machine then it looks like so and this white box is where it's at this is what we want to get uh, you start by taking off the cover now again this is uh, already loosened it was a bit of a trouble to get it off but basically you should push there's these two little hooks on the underside of the box that hook into here and if you push that uh, those hooks you can take this off easily same on this side you have that off then this uh, white box is attached with four screws actually on my model apparently Samsung ran out of screws because we only had three screws one here one here and one here normally a fourth is there and then you just have to disconnect all the wires these two here one here one here here this piece here and finally this black one here that allows you to completely remove the wiring if your box is loose you just slide it out like this and that's what we need this is the culprit so now we're gonna try and open this thing up oh. from the underside we just cut with uh, I believe you call this a multi-tool or something in English uh, along the edges of this of the underside of the box um, as you can see it melts it's really dusty and dirty uh, I believe that's all very normal now I wanted to show you the underside of this thing and as you can see it is kind of glued to the motherboard but that's all very normal and that's as expected as you can see there is a kind of gel covering the motherboard which is what we're gonna remove now uh, as if I understand correctly this gel is there to make sure that the motherboard does not get damaged by the vibrations of the washing machine so now we're gonna spend some time in cutting away this layer of gel of silicone I believe it is and then uh, we'll show you where to solder this print plate. so we removed the gel that was covering the print plate As you can see there's, there's this kind of material um, now it's completely cleared and I am no expert on this but apparently all these kind of soldered points are bad and so we have to do them again so you will need your soldering kit and some uh, new tins to work with and basically thank you my dear basically we are going to um, redo all and reheat the contact so that they become liquid again and then where necessary add a little bit of uh, this soldering tin and as far as I understand after reading about it it's uh, like 80% of all the contacts need to should be done again 
So I think the rule should be when in doubt, do it because you don't want to dismantle the whole machine again um, after finding out that it's still not working. So let's do it thoroughly. So we have, um, I have soldered all the contacts. Well, all of them, not, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, Resoldered them by, for those who don't know, uh, you just take your soldering iron, heat up the point you want to resolder, <clears throat> then make it, uh, make the soldering liquid again, and if necessary you add a little bit, but of course just a bit of new solder. Uh, for the small contacts I found that it was okay to just liquefy them again and you could see them settle better over the contacts. Um, and yeah, so that's what you do. The, what I, according to what I read, uh, the important things or contacts to resolder are the ones opposite these two, um, these two, these four, uh, the relays, there's two here, one here, one here. Um, those are really the apparently the important points to resolder so that those are the all these big ones basically and then uh, a lot of these smaller ones you should uh, look the ones i pointed out as well as uh, all the contacts of these black little thingamajiggies as i told you in the beginning i am not an expert so I do not know the name of these components, but um, according to my research, those are the ones that uh, have bad contacts. Now, this gel layer that was on here, it did serve a purpose, <clears throat> which is to uh, dampen any vibrations that are caused by the machine uh, turning. These vibrations could break or damage the components of the motherboard. And so that's why Samsung decided to encase it in this gel. The gel we just removed on the other side. Now I don't have a gel like this. If you do more power to you, then you can replace it with uh, something resembling the original. If you don't, you'll have to be creative like we are going to be. And here we see my lovely assistant who is cutting out little circles of foam. Uh, which we will use to um, make kind of cushions for the screws that hold the housing of the motherboard to the housing of the washing machine, to the body of the washing machine. And I have good faith that this will work. Um, if it doesn't, I will post an update to this video and warn you not to follow my stupid advice so um, we connected all the connectors back how they were in the beginning we have attached the motherboard housing to the washing machine body between the housing and the body we put these little uh, homemade foam rubber kind of shock absorbers let's say I hope this will provide enough dampening the, the, the thing does seem to be stuck rather well especially when we put this cover back on I believe it will turn the whole thing rigid enough after that short intermezzo where we uh, used four hands to attach this thing back on it's back on so that's good news uh, now we're just gonna cover this thing up again with uh, the lid and then I believe it's time for a little uh, test run to see how my soldering uh, if the soldering helped the problem or made it only worse so let's see
So, um, it is now three days after the reassembly of the machine. As you could see in the previous clip, uh, the machine successfully completes the programs now. We have, we had a lot of back uh, or a lot of uh, washing up to catch up to and uh, we have been doing that these past few days so she's been doing a lot of programs all without any issues or without any problem so it seems that the repair was successful and uh, all in all it was not too complicated not too easy i was more uh, nervous before i started nervous about uh, the whole thing then uh, while doing it so if you have any doubts and if you have a soldering iron put away your doubts just go for it uh, just try it and i hope this video could uh, could take you over the edge and assist you and provide you with some useful information